Hey guys, this video is taken from our full course called V-Ray 5 for SketchUp Exterior Masterclass. And in this video, you'll learn how to use this awesome feature in V-Ray 5 called Light Gen to create various lighting scenarios in your scene just with the click of a button, almost. Alright, let's get started. Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the light gen to generate different exterior lighting scenarios in your scene. So let's open the asset editor and check the lights. So as you can see, we have our three HDRIs. So we're going to use the light gen to mix and match these HDRIs and generate different HDRI lighting scenarios for our scene. So to start the light gen, you can click on the light gen button here. It comes with V-Ray 5, which is the latest version. This is an exterior scene, so I'm going to select exterior and then I'm going to select HDR. Now you can also use your custom HDR set. So you can simply tick this on and load a folder which contains all the custom HDRIs. But I'm going to use the Chaos Cosmos HDRI. So I'm going to take that off. Now you can see that with the default settings, it is going to generate around 140 variants. I don't need that many variants. So I'm going to reduce the number of unique styles which is the number of present HDRs and I'm going to increase the variation which is basically the rotation of the HDR and I'm going to keep the seed value around 6 which is the random variation for each HDR. We can also increase the size of the thumbnails but 160 should suffice and then click on generate 70 variants. So now it will go ahead, combine those HDRs and start to generate different lighting scenarios for your scene. Alright, so as you can see, we've generated different lighting scenarios for our scene. And now we can use any of these in the V-Ray frame buffer as well. So before I do that, I'm going to save this out. Also, please note that disable lights on application is turned on default, which basically means that any artificial lights in your scene won't be calculated in the light gen. Light gen will only calculate either your dome light or the V-Ray sun and sky. Now to use any of these light gen setups in your V-Ray frame buffer. First, you need to run the interactive render. So I'm going to run the interactive render. So you can see that the V-Ray frame buffer is dark. So we need to start applying our light gen lights into the V-Ray frame buffer. So all you need to do is just open the light gen window and then simply click on the light gen variant that you like and it would load it in. Now, if it still doesn't load in, you'll have to check your light mix settings. So let's go to source light mix. So you can see that we have this light gen dome. You need to simply switch this on. So now you can apply any of these lighting scenarios in your scene. So if I click on this, you can see that updates as I click on any of the variants in our light gens. So this way you do not have to tweak the HDRI lights. And you can play with various lighting scenarios simply by using the light gen feature in V-Ray 5. You can also Add this to the history VFB. So if I add this here, it would show up on your history VFB and then you can go ahead and add some other lights as well. Maybe we could try this. And then add this to the history VFB. And then we can do a before and after. So now you can see the difference between those two lights. So I'm liking this light for the scene. So I'm going to be using this for the rest of the workshop. So I'm going to stop the render and whichever is the latest that you've clicked on that would be applied to your light gen dome zero. So if I switch this off, you can see that the light goes away and you can also reduce the impact that has in your scene. So let's keep it at one and it works perfect for our scene. Now, if you want to save these light gen set out and use it in another project, you can click on save and then save it out here. And the next time when you open light gen, so let me just close this and click on light gen or click on reset. And then if you click on load, you can load in the light gen set. So this comes with the variance from this project. All right, so I'm going to be using this for the rest of the workshop. In the next video, I'm going to modify the terrain, add some roads and more before I start adding the materials. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Cheers. Alright guys, so we've come to the end of this video. If you'd like access to our full course, head to the link in the description.
and you learn how to create the complete exterior render of this scene right from scratch. Please do like and subscribe for more such content and also keeping us motivated in releasing awesome content for y'all. I'll see you guys in the next video. This is Manish signing off. Let's say it together. Cheers.